We're going to be going over single family rental property investments for out of state investors. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your man, James Wise. And this is the show on Holton Wise TV where we work together, mano a mano, right? You guys reach out to us. You give us your wants, your needs, your goals. We help you accomplish those, right? My team, we're going to help you find properties, help you buy the properties. Then we're going to manage them, handle the construction, handle the landscaping, handle the maintenance, handle the insurance, handle the title insurance. Even if there's a big old turd clogging the toilet, my guys are going to do that for you, right? You know the drill. Now, who I'm working with today is my man Jason and his wife. You guys are investors out there in Idaho. Uh, just recently sent a couple videos your way. Some interesting uh, deals working on that. But you guys want to keep going, keep expanding, of course, right? You guys have a goal of building up a larger portfolio, right? We want to buy multiple properties uh, every single year, okay? So what I did is I'm going to spend uh, quite some time on you guys today. I'm going to film three videos for you guys. This is obviously the first one. I got three low-risk single-family homes, right? They're all going to be in uh, B-class neighborhoods, right? Because you guys don't want to get into that sketchy, rough stuff, which I totally respect and understand, right? There's no one-size-fits-all, right? It's, uh, that's what it's all about, guys. It's about customization, right? Jason, you, you want to go B-class neighborhoods? Hell yeah, brother. I like it. Let's do it, okay? 4683 East 88th. Garfield Heights, nice solid B class neighborhood, 44125. Been on the market 76 days. They listed it at 86,000. It's got three beds, one bath. When we get a tenant in there, that tenant's going to be paying 1,000 bucks a month or 12,000 a year. When we get that 12,000 a year coming in, on average, I anticipate spending 7,020 of it every year to operate the property, right? That's fixed expenses, variable expenses. This is our average estimate of performance, right? So you should clear almost 5 Gs, right? 4,980. As far as what you get, right? Let's look at the house, right? I gave you the numbers, but we got to see the house, dude. It's a nice little bungalow. And they just went in, and they did some rehab, right? All this paint, it's fresh. They just painted everything. Now, don't get me wrong. I normally would like to go with the agreeable gray, and the next video I'm going to do for you guys after I finish this one is actually a really good example of what I would like uh, or what we do to the rentals, right? That's like the ideal look for the rentals. But that said, if it's not fixed, if it's not broke, you don't need to fix it. So, like, we don't need to go in and redo what they've done. It will be fine to get us a tenant. Like, what they have done here is acceptable, right? Like, yes, this is not the exact color scheme and decor that I would have went with, but it's not going to be cost-effective to redo it because here's the thing. We're going to get one tenant in here, two tenants, three tenants, however many tenants we're going to get in with it looking like this. And then eventually, when we got to do the rehab, we'll change up the color scheme. But they still went modern, right? They went nice modern. They got the stainless steel black appliance combo here. It's looking good. Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinetry, uh, our countertop rather. The cabinetry looks to be original, but they look like they repainted it. So that's totally fine. Like everything they have in here uh, is looking pretty cool. Now, I see a lot of like little old lady window treatments that we're going to want to remove move big hanging chandeliers are never a good idea in a rental property but this property doesn't look like it was operated as a rental property i believe this was just a little old lady home and when they went to sell it they went ahead and had the bathroom completely professionally redone which is pretty damn nice right you got the shower tub surround they even got the custom backsplash matching i mean that looks pretty damn nice dude. that's pretty good so that bathroom is banging man i actually really like the bathroom they uh they did a, a bang up job on that bathroom uh, throughout the rest, you know, just more of the same, right? So nothing, like, special. Here's the thing, too. Like, you got fresh carpet in some of these bedrooms. Now, I don't like carpet in rentals, okay? But this carpet we don't have to get rid of. We're going to leave this carpet going forward at the next turnover. When it's time to remove this carpet, we're going to get rid of it. We're not going to put in new carpet, but there's nothing wrong with 
with this carpet being there for these tenants, right? The reason we hate carpet is because you usually have to replace it in between every tenant or every other tenant. When you get hardwoods, you don't have to do that. So someone already spent the money to put in this carpet. That's cool. We're going to get our use out of it, but then when we pull it, we won't be replacing it with new carpet because we want to keep our subsequent turnovers lower, right? Because you got to understand, you're buying a rental, right? You ain't going to put one tenant in here then never put another tenant in there, right? You're going to have multiple tenants in this property throughout the time of your ownership, right? So, super nice home, okay? They've listed it at 84000 I think we need to go in, get it for a lower price, brother. I want to see you pick it up at 65000 Pick this thing up at 65000 And then I've budgeted $5,000 in rental. Now, I don't exactly know what that's going to go for, right? Everything appears to be fresh, but we're going to need to do a little cleaning of things, right? We're going to have to get rid of all the window treatments, get rid of all the hanging chandeliers. This has never been a rental property, so my team needs to go in and make sure there's the appropriate amount of smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and, you know, usually adding the general home inspection. Random things pop up, so I got some money in there budgeted for that, and then of course we got to change all the locks, right? So it would be very, I'd be very hard pressed uh, to think we would even use the whole five if not like exceed it i highly doubt we'll exceed it but i want to throw that little buffer in there for you guys just to get, give you guys the most transparent look right so 70 g's okay and then with if you buy it with a loan right you're spending 70 g's right just outright it's a six seven cap and then with a loan you only need down 16 point uh, two five, right? Sixteen thousand two hundred fifty. Bank loans you the other forty eight thousand seven hundred fifty. Then we tack on to figure out what our uh, cash on cash return is. We're going to tack on that extra five thousand that I budgeted to just totally get us over the finish line, ready for that thousand dollar a month tenant. That would be an eleven point nine percent cash on cash return, right? Because we're going to take our net cash flow after mortgage, which is the twenty five. 20 25 20 and divide that by 21,250 right when you guys are doing these numbers at home i don't want you to just take your net cash flow after your mortgage and divide it by your down payment you have to divide it by all your upfront costs right so in this case it's our down payment plus i budgeted five thousand dollars of stuff just to get us totally ready to rock and roll are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Nice $1,000 a month rental. Low key, low risk. That's what you guys reached out to me for. You guys wanted low risk. You didn't want to be in the C-class neighborhoods, D-class neighborhoods, F-class neighborhoods. B or better. You don't want to deal with the Section 8 program, you just want nice, cash-paying, blue-collar tenants, low risk. That's what we've got for you. Nothing fancy, nothing special, but exactly what the doctor ordered. You guys put 10, 20, 30, 40 of these in your portfolio throughout your career as investors. You're going to make a lot of money. By the way, folks, if you're watching the show, you want to work with me in the same way Jason and his wife are doing, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll talk you through the process, or you can click the show notes below for more info. Jason. What I'm going to do for you now, though, brother, I am going to send, uh, I'm going to film two more videos for you today. So I'm going to get started on that second one right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.